Hi guys, it's Evelyn. How are you guys? So good to see you. I don't usually see you anymore. Okay, I have a Virgo read that I put down. I wanted to share it with you. I put the spread down. It's your typical spread, except I put it down a little bit differently than the, the cross. I do it more in the motion of energy. So instead of doing the cross up and down like this, I start from the middle and I circle around. But it's basically the same shape as the cards come out. So the underlying energy here, and the way I put it out, is like this. Okay, so the underlying energy is the hangman awake here. And beneath it, you see these all these other energies. These are the four of pentacles, and then the six of wands, and then the you see a queen of wands here, and the hermit reverse, which is Virgo energy, and then a fire sign. So Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So this could be someone you've dealt with in the recent past. Like for me, this could be my daughter. She's she's not a fire sign, but she's her rising sign is fire, so she comes off as a very fiery person, but she's actually Pisces. And then the Hermit, of course, can be Virgo, but it can also be another Virgo in your space. And for the twins, it can even be the energy of your twin and their karmic here. And there's attention being brought to it, okay? This is the Four of Pentacles. So in the recent past, you know, you're stabilizing yourself, trying to hold on loosely, but save and ground and be practical about things during this awakening. So the underlying energy basically is this card, which is the awakening. So the read is all about your awakening. So in the recent past, we have the queen of uh, pentacles, which is all about Virgo, but this is perfect. You're in your element, you're grounded and stable. You have everything that you need around you. So what's the issue here? The foundation is the lovers reversed. So you have everything good in your practical world, but there's a lack of affection here or indecision, depending on your situation. But I wanted to bring up that there's four twos in this read. The center of the read, the main issue, is the two of wands reverse. So this has to do with um, you're not on the path yet of co-creation. And this can be feeling like you have no options, but I don't feel like that in this read. I feel like you've, cho you've chosen this path here but you haven't implemented yet. And I think that's where you're getting stuck is how to implement that path. So that is your challenge, the seven of pentacles reverse, because this is implementing, you know, this is reaping the rewards of what you have. It's not quite enough for a lifetime, but enough to be comfortable and daydream about what you want to do with it. But here is about implementing a plan. So this is the challenge for you guys. You have in your head the three of pentacles here, which is great. You might even have some honorable ceremony about your work or maybe a presentation of your work, but this is all positive. This is coming together and co-creating. And this is, this is what's now, okay? This is what is, but this is not the way you're seeing it. You're seeing yourself as the five of pentacles being left out in the cold with nowhere to go. So maybe even though you're doing really well with your work or whatever you're manifesting, you may not think it's good enough. You think that that other people out there are better than you or that maybe your bosses aren't recognizing you or maybe you got laid off or maybe you got fired or maybe you had to lay off people or, or fire somebody, which is not a comfortable thing for anyone to do. So you're feeling left out there in the cold, maybe injured, but you're with somebody, you're not alone. So, so far we have, for me, the hangman is Capricorn. It can be Pisces too, I'm sure other people bring up energies, but for me, it's Capricorn. So we have Capricorn there, and we also have the lovers, which is Gemini. And then coming up, we also have Aries twice reversed, two different Aries. And Scorpio. Scorpio is the only one that's upright. It's basically like Scorpio is leading you out of where you are. So this is what's around you. All right, so you have Scorpio. See, follow Scorpio across the 40 bridge. They're the ones who are very adept at navigating those kind of energies. It's very natural to them, but not to Virgo here, right? You feel left out in the cold. But for Scorpio, no biggie. So this might be a friend of yours who you've been talking to. 
it could even be a child of yours who's who's changing things in their life and actually showing you they're leading the way out for you how do you do it so for Virgos follow Scorpio now which makes sense anyway because Scorpio is two signs ahead of, ahead of you and we often follow a, the sign that's two signs ahead of us the near future for you guys or what's coming up soon is the Emperor reversed so what does that mean for you this could be someone who's out of control of using their power or it could be someone falling from power or ego death perhaps but that's also Aries energy a very aggressive energy here with Aries and Scorpio and Gemini here and there's Aries times two and they're both reversed because the fool comes up at the end and you see that you have the two of wands the lovers is two too because you have the two lovers which is reversed which can be indecision as well and then for me this is the block she declares the two of swords and this is about having the information you need and then where do you go from here it's not about you getting the information it's about how to implement the next step on your path how to manifest that's where Virgo gets stuck the outcome card here is the fool reversed so you may be scared you're gonna fall on your face because you're lacking faith in yourself this is falling on your face or a fall from grace and this is in line with the three of pentacles which is good solid and stable and so you don't want to mess up a good thing even though you feel like it's not enough so we have the I put the last card out I actually put a few more cards out than the last I usually do it like in a hangman position so the fool's the last card but then we have these two cards we have the two of cups excuse me yeah the two of cups and then the five or six of cups the children in the garden so as soon as you feel like you're gonna fall on your face or you do, as soon as you allow yourself to fall, allow yourself to make mistakes and don't worry so much about mistakes. You know, Virgo is all about perfection. As soon as you allow yourself to not be perfect, all of a sudden this great connection comes in, whether it's a child or a friend or a friend from the past or even your twin, this is a very strong connection that, that comes in to help you, to give you love and friendship. So it's really quite beautiful. I want to read to you what I wrote already before I came on and I want to clarify some here too as well as the the Emperor the Emperor reverse I clarified with the Kipper deck and we have the path the change and then the journey so this very much can be your twin here as the Emperor reversed because he's reversed because as opposed to abusing power he may be falling from grace himself and allowing the fall falling onto his path in a big change and on the journey so it could be travel involved as well okay and at the same time I pulled those the underlying energy in the Kipper deck was the mature man and behind that was the marriage and then behind that was sudden wealth this is like this person feeling like they hit the jackpot so that's the underlying energy for the emperor reversed feeling like they hit the jackpot in marriage so i want to clarify a little bit more let me read to you what i wrote first we have the queen of wands like i told you in the underlying energy so this is a fiery person leo aries sagittarius peeping out in the underlying energy and the hermit reverse coming out to light her up the queen of wands getting attention success and good news about the gold coin on the brain awakened or a new idea ego being built up um, and it was interesting my daughter was going to she's breaking into the acting industry and she went to get all her hair and makeup done for something she's supposed to do today so which was perfectly in line with the queen of wands getting attention today allowing the Queen of Wands to shine brightly while learning about the gold coin the Christ consciousness the awakening the enlightenment above your head grounding and saving but skating on thin ice perhaps feeling like you don't have a lot of money living on the edge of the city limits back in the saddle again aligned chakra system was coming up so remember to balance your chakra system and you can just do this with your intention 
So recently is that Queen of Pentacles. She's good and dealing with the awakening and stable. The central issue that Two of Wands reversed chose a path but not yet to implement. The foundation of the lovers reversed without affection. The lover left you behind but presently working well with others to get some kind of honorable mention, ceremony, or even a private wedding ceremony. Soon as that emperor reversed, out of control, abuse of power, kicking out both of you, especially if we're talking about twins here with the feminine and the masculine, since you're always connected. Around Virgo, Scorpio friend leading you out and across the bridge. Gemini and Aries are draining you. And you need to clear blocks about gaining clarity. And once you get all this information and are clear, then what? Making a clear decision about the emperor reversed, falling on face or from grace, lacking in faith of self and work, even though you're, it's going great. What you're manifesting may be small, but it's tight and honorable right now. As you fall, you come into connection, eye to eye with child or twin or old friend offering affection. And as I said, there's two Aries reversed here, Gemini, they're all reversed, and Capricorn reversed. So Scorpio's your strong suit here for sure. Not only the Scorpio friends, which Virgos usually have Scorpio friends, but we're going into Scorpio season now. So Scorpio is the path to follow. The only one is Scorpio to lead you forward out of the cold. Scorpio very adept at, at walking through purgatory. We have three twos in here in the lovers. That's four twos, all about making a decision, just making that choice and then going with it. Just like the constant co-creation, when you, when you go on path of the twin journey, it's about not staying at the Y in the road, but perpetually co-creating. So you're going to keep coming back to the Y, and you have to keep going. Just keep going, keep going. Make this decision, then make this decision. Just keep going, keep going. It's about not getting stuck. So just change something, make a decision, and go. It doesn't even matter if it's right. It's just to keep the flow going. So we end up with the full reverse, and I want to clarify that too. I have my thought deck here, so I think I'm going to use that. So, so we clarify with the emperor, and he's actually going on path by being reversed. So it's like the the fool and the emperor. It's it's we're in the fall, so it's time to fall. You're supposed to fall and make mistakes. Some of our biggest inventions and biggest successes come from the mistakes that we make because we get so much clarity more clarity than if we had just tried to figure it out uh, taking step by step by making the mistake sometimes it's you learn so much more in one sh all in one shot okay so for let's clarify that emperor again see what comes up from the thought deck so the emperor has the power reversed okay but this is an eight like the normal deck this is the four of pentacles i think it is yeah discs the four of discs reversed so as opposed to feeling stable and moderate it's letting go but they're saying this is not in power when you let go because you didn't have a lot of money to begin with or maybe at the business meeting or at the table at a conference or something you're not the one in power at the table there and there's not a lot of money to work with all right so let's see what else is coming up for the uh for the full reverse at the end of the read why is that there and these two came up we have the chariot and luxury both upright very nice okay so it's saying as soon as you let yourself fall and let go, even if you think it's not good, all of a sudden the chariot and luxury comes up. And luxury is like the four of cups. It allows you to be bored. It's like this is like definitely taking a trip, either taking a trip or moving. You can it's like you're able to afford that that time to be bored and take this trip and have some fun, to allow yourself the luxury while you have it. You never know who you might run into. Actually, all four, four cards coming up here, five, wow. 
So the first five cards that were coming out along with those cards, we have three more here all upright. The Queen of Discs, which you have in the recent past, the Knight of Swords, and the Science card, which is like the Six of Swords, but it's about the logical, scientific side of you. All right, so we have all of these here together. If you can see that one there. Okay. So again, that's the, the chariot. It's a big move or travel, or just a big bold move in ascending, period. The lux that the luxury that you have to do that, to travel or make a move, with the queen of discs, having stability and enough money to, to travel or move. And being very grounded as well. And then the Knight of Swords, the messenger of truth of the knight in shining armor coming in, who may have a scientific mind with the Six of Swords bringing you peace. So there could definitely be for somebody where your twin's coming in here as soon as you trip and fall, or you might just by accident bump into them. So the full reverse can just be actually bumping into someone accidentally. I like that actually. And it's perfect, and that makes sense with the Two of Cups and then the Six of Cups. I wanted to mention, too, with the Pentacles, we have the Queen of Pentacles all stable in the recent past, but then you have Three, Five, and Seven of the Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is your challenge. So you're comfortable with the Three. The Five makes you uneasy, because that's the expansion part, being kicked out and the change. And the challenge is implementing the new strategy. How do we go forward with this? You have the luxury of doing it, and taking your time, but just making that decision of the twos. Just choose and choose and choose again. Just something, it doesn't matter what. And I want to clarify too, the two of cups and the six of cups. And we'll do, we'll do some of the other cards as well. It's really about Virgo manifesting. Just, you're good. You just have to choose something and go with it. I'm guilty of that for sure. So the six, let's see, the five of pentacles is how you see yourself. And that's the eight of swords, right? So you put yourself in a prison. You feel like you're out in the cold, but I don't think you really are. It's just really your mental status. And that eight of cups, needing to go, you know, reconnect, walk away and go back in. So if you feel out in the cold, it's just you making yourself feel that way. You have the Three of Pentacles. You're doing good. It may be a small project. may not be as big as other people's, but it really doesn't matter. It's, it's of quality. That's what's important. The Emperor reversed. Let's see why the Lovers are reversed, too. All right, so Lovers reversed is the Prince of Swords reversed because there's no message here. There's no communication. All right, this would be a message or news, or this is bad news, or the silent treatment, or just no message with the Page of Swords. There could be spying and that kind of stuff going on. Or just immaturity as far as communication. There's not, no completion, but the worst, we have the Nine of Swords reversed as well. So that's that suffering and silence is causing the cycle not to complete. You feel like your efforts are futile, though. Seven of Swords reversed, needing to come. You come clean, but you feel like your efforts are fu futile because nothing's happening from that. So let's see uh, with the Emperor reversed again. What does the Lovers have to do with the Emperor reversed? The Ace of Discs. It has to do with your new life. <laughs> That's really beautiful. Uh, just somebody's, or we have the sun reversed there with the, with the ace of pentacles. So it's just someone who's drained, right? Maybe feeling sick. Maybe they just need to re-energize. It's the prince of wands. They are inspired. They just need to get their energy back again. They need to be in that place of the six of cups, which is coming up for them. And that's what's coming up towards the, after the end of your read. So they just needed to rest. The emperor reversed. So let's see why you see yourself as the Five of Pentacles. Why is Virgo this, the Five of Pentacles? Why do they see themselves that way? I'm telling you now, it's because everyone thinks that Virgo is all about practicality, and it's not. It's about purity of love. And so if they don't have that affection, 
that's what really means everything to them. It didn't come out right. I got a the cards were all messed up. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Why for Virgo? All right. So we have the Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, so that's negative self-talk, which is very much the the Five of Pentacles. So you're just it's just your own negative self-talk and sorrow. The Three of Swords and broken heart. And then we get this Power card, but now it's upright. So the four of pentacles, it's like you, it's like you're finding, you find power in sorrow in the broken heart because it's what you know. There's been so much sadness and sorrow and grief in your life. And not only that, in your wounds, in your DNA, you have a lot of grief there to purge. It has to do with death and dying and, and actually Virgo is the healer. So in their past, if you come in as a Virgo, you probably did a lot of work in healing people or helping people die. So there's a lot of sorrow there and spirits connecting with me. So that's where your negative self-talk comes from. You're so used to dealing with sorrow in your, in your energy field. That's where your power lies because you understand it. So just get out of the night and spirits still connecting with me. It's still the negative self-talk. We keep ourselves in a prison of anxiety in our head that, that what we're doing isn't good enough. But it's just keep going. It's not even about the end result anyway. It's just about how much fun or enjoyment you're getting out of it. So let's see, why do we have the death card next to us? Or how do, why do other people see us as the death card? Why is the death card in that position? All right, so adjustment. We have justice because the, um, the dark night is your justice. It's your reward that's going to get you out of abandonment. Going through that dark night is what cleared your wounds and helped you get there. And then we have the Fool there. So Justice comes, which is also Libra 2, and then we have Aries with the Fool. Okay. So the Justice of the Death card is leaving you, leading you to Justice, which is Truth and Balance, and then to the Fool, which is the open heart leap of faith, because you believe in yourself. So follow the Grim Reaper, the Dark Knight, that's Batman. And then it goes back into the neck, the Queen of Swords, reverse. So the, the Scorpio also could have Libra and Aries in their chart, but whoever this is, this Dark Knight, which can be your twin or Scorpio friend, is leading you out of your negative self-talk and sorrows. And the bottom of the deck right now is Truce as we do that, okay? So why do we have then the, as our blocks to clear, why do we have the Two of Swords there? Why is the Two of Swords reversed? So we have clarity, we have all the information that we need to go on to the Three of Swords. You know, who wants to take that step from the Two of Swords to the Three of Swords, because that's heartbreak and sorrow. Princess of Swords, it's like a page of swords, right? It's immature communication, but at least there's something there. And it is about the truth. Even though a young person doesn't have all the truth, they may not have all the information because they're young, but it's still their truth. And that comes out along with the strength, which is here, the Nine of Wands, is the wounded warrior. So this is immature communication because it's coming from someone who's still holding on to their wounds, the wounded warrior, the victim mentality. Even though all the information comes in, you're still protecting your wounds, so it prevents you from communicating. We have the devil here too. So it's the addictions to sadness, the addictions to to holding on to sorrow that you don't feel alive unless you're feeling you know you're feeling that welling up of the beauty of sadness even. You know, even when you cry at the end of a movie that's really sad because it's so beautiful. And then we have the hermit. So the devil and the hermit, Capricorn and Virgo with some communication. There may be a little bit of messaging that's come through and having the strength to surrender to the devil and to the hermit. So the devil is your shadow and the hermit is the wise part of yourself, to all of yourself, to love all of yourself and don't be afraid of yourself. Allow the information to come in 
and then go have fun with it. Even if you trip up and fall, then we have the Fool. We're in the Fall again. We have the Fool, which has vir Virtue and Strife, which are orange and yellow, so very much sacral and solar plexus. The Three of Wands is being present, the gift of the present moment. And then the Five is the Five of Wands, which is the quest, the quest for the gold, the quest for... Um, that fun in your life actually because it's just the expansion the playtime as opposed to the fighting or the competition just think of it as playtime like your kids out you know at recess that's the expansion just allow yourself to play and let let it unfold and then we have the death card which then allows the full transformation to happen okay so why do we have the two of cups and then the six of cups why do we have the Two of Cups and then the Six of Cups? Why do we have the Two of Cups and then the Six of Cups for Virgo? A whole bunch of cards just flipped out. All right. So we have those because we have the Fortune. That's the first card out. That's like the Wheel of Fortune. Then we have the Success card, but reversed. Then we have the Ace of Discs, which is the Ace of Pentacles, upright, which is great. So the success reverse is the Six of Discs. So that has to do with some imbalance as far as sharing and equitable relationships. So it could be somebody's paying out debts or settling out for a new life. That fortune came in. So we, again, this is going back to the Emperor because it's the same card. So they're drained, they're ready for that new life, but they're still drained and just trying to get rest. And then we have the Prince of Wands, who's very inspired, possibly for a date, just to be creative and sexual inspiration. And then there's Pleasure, where they have time now, once they have rest, and close up everything else they need to take care of. Then they, uh, then they have time to deal with uh, ending the pain and all that kind of stuff that's coming up here. So that's actually really beautiful. The wheel, put my cards down. The wheel, the six of pentacles reversed. So some balancing that needs to be had, whether it's paying out debt or rebalancing a relationship that's not equitable or even feeling scammed. But we have the wheel of fortune that came in upright here to correct this and then go in, into the new life with the Ace of Pentacles. And then the Sun, there's just some rest that needs to be had. Overexposure, maybe some sickness. And then the inspiration comes and there's pleasure there. Definitely a party, could be a child's party as well. Okay, so I don't know if you're quite at peace yet, but I think we're getting there. Um, let's see here. One more time for the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. Why? Why the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups? Why the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups here at the end? So we have the Five of Swords reversed. So the war is over. Okay, there may be apologies coming forward with the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. Aw, Valor. Somebody who's there to fight for your honor. That's really sweet. And then we go into the Five of Cups, which is that some of that sadness that you still have might come up, right? And then a truce with the Four of Swords. There's peace and rest. 5D communication as well. And then we have the Justice card, Truth and Balance. So we end with that. So it's really lovely. There's nothing that's really sweet energy coming up, no matter who it is. But definitely for some, that could be your, your masculine coming in. So I'm going to end it there. I hope you like that. Maybe I'll do some more signs in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Have a great night, you guys. Bye. Rise and be loved.